Hi, prospective parents. I am Miss Arnold. I am the school leader here at Gilbert Arts Academy, and I am super excited that you are interested in joining our Mustang family here at Gilbert Arts Academy. We put together this little video to show you what life is like for our kindergartners. You'll hear from our kindergarten teacher. You'll hear from our specials teachers, Miss Hay with PE, Miss Johnson with art and music, and Mrs. Eaton with library. I hope this answers a lot of your questions as to what it's like here at Gilbert Arts and what we're all about. And enjoy. Hi, new kindergartner. Welcome to kindergarten. This is a day in the life of the kindergartner. Right here we have our garden. See how big and tall it's growing? You will grow just like the garden this year. Come on down, let me show you our playground. This is our playground. We have slides, we have a wiggly bridge, we have balls that we like to bring out. We do measurement outside when we dig in the dirt. So much fun. Ding, ding, time to line up. Boys and girls, these are your Mustangs. You will stand on a Mustang. We have a boy's bathroom. We have a girl's bathroom. They are on the outside. Come on in our classroom. My name is Miss B. Welcome to our classroom. Time for you to unpack. Please put your books away, put your folders away, unpack your lunchbox and your water bottle. Once you're done, go sit down on your spot. Get ready for announcements. Hi, boys and girls. Now we're gonna get ready for our listen learning story. Today we're learning about the American symbols. You know what this one is? That's right, it's the American flag. We say that for a Pledge of Allegiance. After our story, we always do a project. Today's project is going to be drawing the American flag. Boys and girls in kindergarten, we share our supplies. Here we go. Oh, look at that. This little boy has saved all of his tools. Here we go. He earned a Mustang, but we're going to use our pencil to go ahead and draw what we see. All right, I'm putting my tools away. I am being a responsible student. Now I'm gonna get out my crayons, top and bottom. All right, boys and girls, time to clean up and go to recess. Recess and lunch, that's outside. Hi, I'm Miss Hay at Gilbert Arts Academy. The kindergartners get PE twice a week for 30 minutes. When they come to my class, we're working on sharing, taking turns, hand-eye coordination, flexibility, endurance. I do lots of stations, so they're always active. We're playing with hula hoops, basketballs. We do some soccer skills. The kids love to play with the parachute. One of my favorite events is our turkey trot. This year, it was a bubble run. Boys and girls, these over here, this is our daily five. This is independent learning. You'll take your book box, give it a hug, and you're gonna walk to a location in the classroom. These are for sitting. You'll sit down on a sitting spot and you're gonna get out your book and sit crisscross applesauce and read your book. Maybe you don't wanna do that today. Maybe instead, you're gonna want to work on your journal. Here's your journal. You're gonna draw a picture and write your words. This will make you a strong reader. Maybe you choose to do word work. <clears throat> Here's our word work. These are lots of super fun games where you would get out your border 
and sit down inside your border and play. Do you see our computers? We have computers in our classroom. That's where we listen to stories. Daily Five is the funnest time of the day. I can't wait for you to experience it. Hi there, welcome to the GAA Library. I'm Mrs. Ayton, and some people call me Miss A. Every Friday, you'll come into the library, have a seat on the carpet, and we'll read some fun stories. Let me show you around the library. This is my desk where I do most of my work. And some of our friends hang out here too. Like Beagle, you'll like to give him a hug. Let me show you more. After we read our story, you can do some activities, like matching your letters. Sometimes we also draw a picture based on the story that we read. You can also be your own author. Every quarter, we do a theme. One of the themes from last year was Adventure Awaits in the 50 States. And we learned about different states in our country, the United States of America. These are some of the books that we read. This is Washington, D.C., Swamp Angel, that's a really fun tall tale. Under Alaska's Midnight Sun. And we even studied Martin Luther King Jr. who grew up in Georgia. Our library has over 5,000 books to read. These boxes that you see are from our fourth grade book report projects. A library is a great place to read books and let your imagination go wild. I can't wait to meet all of you in the fall. I hope you have a great summer. Today our math is hands-on. Actually, our math is hands-on almost every day. Today, I wanna find out how many foam discs does it take to balance my balance beam? One, two, did you see it? Three, four, it's moving, do you see that? Four, five, six, seven, oh, it's working! Eight, nine, did it balance? Yes, it did. Let's use our whiteboards to record it. One cube is equal, do you remember how many? Nine, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hide it and decide it. How many are you all right? That's it. Good job, erase it. We'll do another one when you come to visit. Bye for now. Welcome to the music and art room, guys. Come on in. I am Mrs. Johnson, and this is the art and music room. Kindergartners will have art one day a week and music one day a week. We do music Mondays, and I remember that by M&M, music Mondays, and we do art on Wednesdays. I have the kids for a half an hour each time. I'm gonna give you a little tour of our classroom and show you what we do for both. First, right here is our piano. And mostly for kindergartners, what we do is we teach them their basic scales. We do our solfege, which is our hand signs for do, re, mi, and so on. And then I have middle C on the piano, and they set the tone for the whole lesson pretty much. So I'll have a kiddo come and play middle C, which has a sticker, and then they match the pitch and we play those fun games. Mostly what we do for music is a lot of fun games to introduce them to music, music notes, musical instruments. Everyone gets a turn holding and playing an instrument, and we learn a little bit about beats and also some music theory, what notes are, how many beats a note has, and so on. We also do an introduction to classical music, which is really fun. I like to do little puppet shows with classical masterpieces so that the kids become familiar with those tunes and those songs and the different instruments and that. And that is something really fun that we do pretty much throughout the year. We have a few 
um, performances that we do in the year, one of our big ones is our Christmas performance. So we do a Christmas performance every year. We usually perform that at the high school and the kids learn a song, they have a costume, they dance, it's really cute. It's one of the favorite things of the year. The other thing that we do is our kindergarten graduation at the end of the year and they perform some of their songs that they learned throughout the year and it's just a really great time for them. We also do some dancing with our music. We learn square dancing in our third quarter. So they're always moving, singing, dancing, and having a lot of fun and learning a lot about music and how it can enrich their lives. So let's move on to our music cabinet. This is my music cabinet, but this has some of the music instruments that they play. One thing I like to use a lot is xylophones. I use xylophones just to kind of mimic piano and have them be able to play the scales with, with those and everyone gets a turn with that. So this is my special little music cabinet. And then if you move on over here, we'll get into what we do for art. So I usually will pull something up on the whiteboard and um, we'll do a little art lesson and learn some techniques with art. We do a lot of painting, we do a lot of drawing. As they get more advanced in the year, I like to do directed draws. So there'll be a video of me from my computer um, just watching me how I make a circle or how I make a face shape. Sometimes we'll do different um, animals in a how to draw, direct to draw, and then they'll shade those in. I have some examples of those on our artboard over here. Right over here is our artboard. Most of these are from some of the older kids, but um, it's just something basic that we learn and how they can draw a line, hold a pencil, they're learning to cut with their scissors, they're learning how to make a zigzag shape just a lot of different shapes and techniques to use with their hand to help with their fine motor skills. Um, this is where we keep our supplies and each child has their own crayon box. That way we kind of don't share the germs quite as much, but everybody feels like they have their own and if it gets broken, it's, it's okay, we'll replace it. We have lots of supplies there for them to use and at their different age levels, even scissors. For the younger kids, sharper scissors, bigger scissors for the older kids. So that's pretty much it. And then we have our cleaning station actually over here where they can wash their hands after we do paint. We do a lot of water coloring and um, tempera paint. And then we prepare for our art walk, which we have towards the end of the year. And each child will display all the art walk they did for that year. Thanks so much for joining me in my class. I can't wait to see you in kindergarten. Bye. All right, boys and girls, it's time to pack up and go home. Go ahead, put your belongings away. Get your water bottle. Get your water bottle. Come and get your backpack. Put your jacket on. Grab it. Ready? Let's do our high fives. High five sight word chi. The. Uh. Three sight words. All right, time to go. Bye, kindergarten. See you tomorrow. Thank you again, prospective parents, for taking the time to view this video and learn more about Gilbert Arts Academy. I hope you loved what you saw. I certainly love what we do every day at Gilbert Arts Academy. If you have more questions, you can visit our website at www.gilbertartsacademy.com. You can call us at 480-325-6100, or you can shoot me an email, lauren.arnold at leonagroup.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions and talk to you about enrollment for next school year. Thank you again and have a great day.